Hello everyone and welcome to the Leeds United career mode on FIFA 18. I chose the Leeds because I want to take them back to the glory days of the 80s and the early 90s when they were one of the top teams in England. So right now they're in the championship, but of course they've been taken over by Rad Rizzani, which of course has given them a bit of an injection of money. Their squad is amazing on FIFA. It's actually probably better than most Premier League teams. So... Just whiz through the preseason there. We got knocked out the first round. And these were the transfers I went through. Alexander Rizak from British Dortmund and Josh Sims from Southampton. I didn't go for Gore because ultimately I ran out of money to do anything. So this is just the negotiation uh, as it went down. So we had to pay the release clause for, for Razak, uh, for Isaac, Razak, Isaac, and... It was around 3.7 million, so a lot of this stuff pretty simple. So rotation role, which calls a bit of uh, rubbish because he is going to be a main starter. Five year deal, he wanted 21 grand a week, and of course a lot of add-ons. And I just accepted it because I wasn't obviously going to be spending too much money on players. Now with Josh Sims, um, looking to sign him from Southampton. He's a player that I tend to sign on FIFA. Um, doesn't always go places, but he's a good little player and he's got great pace and a decent. And really cheap as well, so cheap and cheerful. So the negotiations were pretty straightforward. Uh, Zoom pass it. I bid um, around 1.1 million. I did try to see if there was any play I wanted to swap for him. I was thinking I might just give uh, Hernandez, but seeing as he was worth around 3 million, I thought that'd be a bit stupid. So I thought let's hold off for that money and uh, get that given to us if somebody decides to buy him. He is on his final year of his contract. And then my controller decided to be a bit retarded and uh was <laughs> nearly there trying to bid 10 million for the guy i'm sure Southampton would have said yep but 1.1 million submitted the offer and they simply said yep that's fine but give us one percent tell on clause of that yeah whatever that's easy enough so on board he came negotiations were pretty simple as well uh he was never going to garner too much wage and uh, this was a pretty straightforward process uh in the deal so again, made him a rotation player, because again, he's going to be coming off the bench here and there and playing the old game, being the championship, be him and Dallas fighting out for the uh, left mid position. Uh, Five-year deal, he happily accepted that, which is great. No release clause. Um, I have actually signed him in previous ones, and they've asked for like a £5 million release clause, which made no sense to me. I don't know why you'd want that, but never mind. So offered him around thirty grand, 35 grand. He wanted 29, and then the add-ons. I just find that weird that nowadays in FIFA... That's what players want. They they want add-ons, which is weird. So these are the youth prospects. I got rid of Dylan Griffiths because I accidentally bought him in. But these are the two, Cameron Roberts and Elliot Carter. Uh, they've come into the squad, uh, into the youth product. And I have, I post, I'm supposed to sign at least, I think, two youth players and play them in 10 matches. And I think I need to sign one under 20 player as well to meet that requirement. But anyway, this is the first game of the season it's against bolton uh, at some massive r stadium don't even know why they would give this stadium when i wish it would just scan all the championship teams and all the lower league teams just just get their stadiums i know it's a hard job but it just i mean this just looks terrible why would bolton have this stadium you can't even call that the macron stadium but whatever whatever so here we are decked out in black and of course it's all about this man Alexander Isaac, 17 years old and 68 rated, costing 3.7 million. That's just a bargain. I mean, it's a bit expensive for a youngster, but this is what some go for. And that's the starting lineup. Again, most of these players are pretty much already signed by Leeds United. So a lot of them permanent. I didn't realise a lot of them were permanent signings, actually. I thought that a lot of them were just uh, low knees. But fortunately, they're all permanent, bar a few. And here we go. The first game of the new season. And it got off to a very good start, actually. We got a throw on off the bat in the first few seconds. And from that, we sort of completely moved the ball around nicely. Uh, great work there by Dallas on the left wing. Played it to Isaac, who just ran in and just looking for a pass. And it was Alien was coming in over the bar. It was a poor one. I think uh, anyone but him may be in the back of the net. Then, uh, around just a couple minutes later, we then stole the ball off them. And it went straight to Dallas. And again, straight through to Sias. The other new boy, um, the game says he was bought for 10.5. I'm not sure what his actual price. I think it was like 8 billion or something that Leeds paid for him, but he's a star player. And then moving on, still only in the seventh minute here. Again, we're just bombing forward, creating chances. 
played across, saved by the keeper, and then the rebound led to a corner, which ultimately led to absolutely nothing as it came off ailing. Moving on into the game, with an chancing for Seas from distance. Wide, I'm pretty sure that was more wide, I didn't actually look at the replay. Then Bolton finally got four, and the goalkeeper here just had to punch that. I felt like maybe he could have tried and catch it, but was minor, and it was dealt with pretty well. Then we're still infancy of this game. They're only 17 minutes in, and we're still um, controlling the game, passing it around, holding to the ball. Not really, um, you know, rushing anything. We know that Bolton's going to lay back, and I found that even no matter what difficult you play, that's what the computer will do. So what you've got to do is just be smart with your passes, and you'll be fine. So here's Phillips just bombing forward, plays it in to a Kane, who makes a step aside, and that is an absolute scorcher for the first goal of the season. What a strike from the former Bournemouth man. Um, I think he was on loan last season at Leeds, and then he signed on a permanent deal in the summer. But what a play it was. Then fast forward to the 38th minute, because really nothing really happened, which is all middle of the park stuff. And then great work again by Kane, just holds the ball up here, plays it into Isaac, who plays it into Sias. Bang, 2-0, and we have got off to the perfect start. The one thing I didn't show you was the fact that my objective that the board have set me is to gain automatic promotion, so I have to finish in the top two. Well, I don't think they'll mind if I come up by the playoffs, but I don't really want to piss them off and get sacked, especially if I'm going to build a, a uh, career mode on this. So, yeah, that was half-time. 2-0 uh, up, pretty comfortable half. We really had no trouble from uh, Bolton. They did nothing really to trouble us. So moving on to the second half, again, we made a very fast start, just like the first, breaking on here, Seattle on the ball, just bombing past Derek, the former Real Madrid defender, weird one, and then into the path of Isaac, but the goalkeeper makes those straight at the goalkeeper, and uh, he makes the save. But that wasn't the end of the move. That was not the end of the move. The ball was played back into Sacco, who made it down the wing. I, I felt I'd lost the ball here. Every time it does that, able to get the pass in to Sias, back 3-0. And Bolton have been absolutely destroyed here. What a performance from Seattle on his debut for Leeds United. What a performance from this team. I mean, I played with the Leeds United in FIFA 17. And they weren't this good. So, great stuff. And this was actually the first proper chance that uh, that Bolton had in the entire game. The Fondra trying to go on the goalkeeper at the ball. They got a free kick on around the 60th minute. And it went over everyone's head. And really, Samu Seattle really a man of match performance from him. Great stuff. And then this... Well, CS again making a good run, gets in position. I sort of um, ran of options there, so I thought I've got to have a shot. So it was straight at the keeper. It wasn't really a good one. But then on 67 minutes, um, there was a chance for Bolton. A um, couple of chances there, header there. And then on 76 minutes, they so I sort of um, fell asleep a little bit here. Lapsing in concentration. Gary Medin. I swear, this guy's a tank in this game. But 3-1 to Leeds. And... Yeah, Bolton got one back, but it was always going to be a consolation. There wasn't really much time in the day to, for them to come back into the game. We then hit back straight away, trying to see if we get a fourth. It was Ruffier, straight, just wide. And then the final minutes of the game, Bolton did sort of come at us and create a couple of chances. Then after an offside, quick, just moved the ball around, and that was it. Full time, and what a start to this Leeds United career mode. The perfect start for Leeds. And a perfect start for me on this road to glory. And of course, that is the end of episode one. In the episode two, we'll be starting up with the Caribou Cup and our first home game of the season. Subscribe and like this video, and hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.